Welcome to this video from Learn Electrics. In this video we will delve into the world of electricity bills. We've had many requests to explain what KWH is and how this applies to electricity charges. We will look at the factors that affect our bill, the watts, the kilowatt hours and the tariff charges. First of all, what is a kilowatt hour? It is one kilowatt of energy being used constantly for one hour. Watts and kilowatts are not the same thing as kilowatt hours, nearly, but not quite. A watt or kilowatt is a measure of the energy being used in one second. A kilowatt hour, on the other hand, is how much energy has been used in one hour. A one kilowatt heater will use one kilowatt hour of electricity in one hour. A 2 kilowatt heater will use 2 kilowatt hours every hour. And if the 2 kilowatt heater only runs for 30 minutes, it will only have used 1 kilowatt hour of energy. Where does the word watts come from? It was named after the Scottish engineer James Watt. James Watt made improvements to the early steam engines and made them commercially viable. They were machines for pumping water out of tin mines in Cornwall. This work had always been done by horses and ponies before, and so James Watt classified his engine's working power by comparing it to the amount of work that a horse could do in the same amount of time. Hence, engines and later electric motors were measured in horsepower. Watts are used as a symbol for power, and in electrical terms, one horsepower equates to 746 watts. A little bit now about the units that are used. A light bulb will be labelled in watts or W, and a kettle will be marked in kilowatts or KW. 1000 watts equals 1 kilowatt. A 3 kilowatt heater can also be labelled as 3000 watts, and a 60 watt light bulb is 0 0.06 kilowatts but it is very unlikely to be labelled in kilowatts, it just gets too messy. How do we know what energy is being drawn by an appliance? Most will have a rating plate or information label somewhere on the appliance. Some examples are shown here, and in almost every case, the energy demand will be in watts or kilowatts. One kilowatt is 1000 watts, and this makes it easy to convert between watts and kilowatts. To convert watts into kilowatts, divide by 1000, and to change kilowatts into watts, multiply by 1000. Nothing more complicated than that. The abbreviation that we use, KWH, stands for kilowatt hours, a kilowatt of energy being used constantly for one hour. Electricity bills are calculated in kilowatt hours, it is their standard unit. A two kilowatt water heater will use 2 kilowatts every hour if it stays energised for the whole hour. 2 kilowatts for one hour is 2 kilowatt hours, and this can also be written as 2 kWh. How much power is used? How many kilowatt hours are consumed by everyday appliances? Let's say that we have a 3 kilowatt electric kettle, and this takes 3 minutes to boil 2 litres of water. We can say that the power rating is 3 kilowatts. 3 minutes of use converted into hours is 3 divided by 60, which is 0 0.05 hours. So, our electricity usage will be 3 kilowatts times 0 0.05 hours, which is 0 0.15 kilowatt hours. Our kettle will use 0 0.15 kilowatt hours of power to boil 2 litres of water, and that is what we will be charged for. 0 0.15 kilowatt hours. But what does that cost in money? First, we will need to know the unit cost, the cost of one kilowatt hour of energy. This will be found on the utility bill and different rates can apply at different times of the day. We will look at costing shortly and for our examples that we show here, we will use 20 pence per kilowatt hour. We will need to know our electricity consumption over a period of time, and this is what the supply companies do every three months. 
and here is a typical digital meter. The numbers in the black section are the meter reading that is used to calculate the bill. This meter is showing a reading of 33987 today. The previous reading was recorded three months ago. The red section shows tenths of a kilowatt hour and can be ignored for billing purposes. Also shown in the photo is the company seal used to deter tampering with the supply. This company seal should never be removed. How do you go about calculating the cost of electricity that you've used? Let's say that you know that you've used 1200 kilowatt hours. If your unit charge was say 20 pence per unit or kilowatt hour, then multiply the number of units used by 20 pence and then divide by 100 to convert it into pounds. So 1200 units are used times 20 pence is 24,000 pence. 24,000 divided by 100 gives us a cost of 240 pounds. This table here shows how much electricity different sized appliances will use. If we start halfway down the leftmost column with a 1000 watt appliance, this is our reference point when everything equals one. We can move one column to the right and this will show the number 1000 converted into kilowatts, which is one kilowatt. The blue column shows how many kilowatt hours that it will use in one hour. And of course, this is one. And the green column on the far right shows how long one kilowatt hour will last. Look now at the 100 watt row, second from the top. This is only 0.1 kilowatts and we will only use 0.1 kilowatt hours in one hour. How long will it take for one kilowatt hour to be registered on the electricity meter? Well, it's only one tenth of a kilowatt hour, that is 10 times smaller. This means it will take 10 times longer. A 100 watt light bulb will take 10 hours to consume one kilowatt hour of electricity. Apply the same method to a nine kilowatt shower. It will use nine kilowatt hours every hour. It will take only six and a half minutes to clock up one kilowatt hour. If you took 13 minutes for your shower, you would have used two kilowatt hours of electricity or two units as they call it on your bill. So what would be the running cost of different items? We know how much power an appliance uses from the rating plate. We also know our unit cost, the cost of one kilowatt hour of electricity. All we need to do now is to estimate the usage time. Take the kilowatt demand of the appliance and multiply by the time in hours and then multiply by the unit cost. Let's say that we bake a potato in a microwave oven. What does this cost us? The microwave oven is rated at 1500 watts. Convert this to kilowatts by dividing 1500 by 1000 and this gives us 1.5 kilowatts. The microwave oven is on for six minutes. So six divided by 60 gives us 0 0.1 hours, a tenth of an hour. Our unit cost is 20 pence per unit. So microwave kilowatts times the on time times the unit cost is 1.5 times 0 0.1 times 20, which is three. It has cost three pence to bake the potato. And then next time we want a super tasty baked potato cooked in the big oven with a nice crispy skin. We can make an assumption that the oven will take 15 minutes to heat up and then 40 minutes to bake the potato. But once up to temperature, the oven will only actually be on for 50% of the time as the oven thermostat clicks in and out. So we have 15 minutes for heat up plus 20 minutes actual on time, which was 40 minutes cooking time divided by two for the thermostat cutting in. A total of 35 minutes of energy usage. The main oven is 3000 watts, which converts to three kilowatts when divided by a thousand. The total time is 35 minutes, which we can divide by 60 to give us 0 0.58 of an hour. And our electricity cost is 20 pence per unit. We can now take the oven kilowatts 
multiplied by the on time and then multiplied by the unit cost. And this is 3 times 0 0.58 times 20, which gives us 34.8. A tastier potato, yes, but it's cost us 34.8 pence, almost 32 pence more. And how do these modern LED lamps stack up against the traditional incandescent lamps? The best way to make a comparison is to calculate how long each lamp type will take to use one kilowatt hour of energy. As you can see here, a 60 watt traditional incandescent lamp that is burning constantly will take about 16.6 hours to clock up one kilowatt hour of energy. An equivalent LED type giving a similar light output may only be 6.5 watts. This equates to 153.8 hours before the same amount of energy is used. And we can see from this that the LED type lamp would take almost 10 times as long as the older lamp to consume the same amount of electricity. And lastly, what should you see on your bill? There will be two numbers clearly shown. The daily standing charge for the use of their meter and service head, and this will be shown in pence per day. We have chosen to show it here as 16 pence per day, and also shown will be the unit cost what you pay per kilowatt hour or unit of electricity, and this is shown here as 20 pence. The next information that we need is the current meter reading, shown here as 33987 kilowatt hours. Then we have the previous reading, which we are saying is 33001 kilowatt hours. Take one from the other and we are left with 986 units that have been used. Now we can put this all together. Our standing charge is calculated on a daily basis and may vary by a day or so from quarter to quarter. We have here 91 days at 16 pence per day, a charge of 14 pounds and 56 pence. And for the electricity, 986 kilowatt hours at 20 pence per unit, making 197 pounds and 20 pence. Our total bill then is 211 pounds and 76 pence. And there we are, all about watts and kilowatt hours and how to check your electricity bills. We hope that you've enjoyed this video and that you've added some more knowledge to your mental toolbox. Please click on subscribe below to have access to all of our videos and to be sure of not missing our next Tech Tips video. Subscribing also helps us too and we do appreciate this. Typing in Learn Electrics, all one word, into the YouTube search bar will also give you access to all of our videos at any time. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you again very soon.